this question is another great question. Uh, um, could, could innate biological uh, structures be co-opted here? And there are actually, a, there are a couple of proposals for this. Biologists use the word um, pleiotropy here. And one way it could be co-opted, and some people have proposed this, is that um, our, well, and actually Darwin proposed this, that our parental affections, um, which are highly um, non-calculating, E.O. Wilson calls it hardcore um, altruism in the sense that we give no matter what, there are kids. Um, that our parental affections could be co-opted. Now, this is an interesting empirical question, and it might turn out to be differently, but uh, turn out different. But what um, what it looks to be the case so far, like for example, in the study of Holocaust rescuers, is that um, attachment mechanisms appear to be at work in singular instances. For example, when a prison guard would turn. Uh, the other way and let somebody out of the camp that he played chess with for several years. There, there's a, there's a, a, an attachment mechanism at work here. But um, for most of the Holocaust rescuers um, interviewed by Sam and Pearl Oliner, Holocaust refugees himself, and by uh, Kristen Monroe, who I mentioned earlier, it, it doesn't look like these attachment mechanisms were at work. Um, uh, Oftentimes, these were uh, complete strangers with, uh, with whom there were no, was no attachment. And many times, the people rescued uh, weren't even liked by the people who rescued them. But there's another way that these mechanisms can be co-opted. And Bob and I have both referred to this. And this is by cultural ideas. Um, so it's back to the word become flesh idea. Uh, and, and as that um, human moral commitments, and in many cases, human uh, religious commitments in the great uh, eruption of uh, cosmopolitan axial religions, of which Christianity is one, but not the only one. Um, there is uh, an expanding circle of sensed obligation. Is this somehow non-biological? No, it uses reward mechanisms that are part of our biology, but these mechanisms um, get um, expanded and reformulated. And you can see this in the Christian tradition where um, Jesus says to you, Jesus says, you've uh, heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, uh, love your enemy, pray for those who despitefully use you, bless those who curse you. So you have a, a cultural transformation uh, through an expanding circle of religious and also non-religious uh, moral sensitivity. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.